first up we need to make a template for the uh, bridge abutment so I want the front part of the abutment to be three and three eighths of an inch so I mark the center line on the piece of cardboard and uh, three and three eighths divided by two is one and eleven sixteenths so I went ahead and marked two spots on each side for one and eleven sixteenths so that will be the front part of this so what I'm going to go ahead and do is take the square, put it on the cardboard, and we're going to mark that straight line and the straight line there for that. So I got that set. Now, I have a, I don't know the name of this tool, but I have my angle that I want for my things, uh, the side wings. Uh, the bridge abutment, so what I'm going to do is just lay that on here against the cardboard and mark my wing, flip it over, and do the same for the other side if I can get it to work. So, there we got the two wings, and I'm just going to take the flat edge ruler and mark straight across there and then we're going to cut that out to cut it out I'm just going to take the utility knife Cut along my line. Same thing over here. Pretty sure my bullet shot. And then just cut the straight one. I guess this is double thick cardboard here. Well, I got two templates, but here's the one I'm going to use. So you can see it's cut out. It ain't perfect, but that's okay because when you mark it on the foam, you're going to leave it a little bigger uh, when you cut it because we're going to sand it down. So uh, we'll go to the next step. So the next step after you get your template is you're going to get whatever foam you're working with. This is just a scrap piece of regular styrofoam just to show you that you're just going to take your template, mark your foam, and now you're going to be ready to cut that out. It saves on messing up foam if you use a template. Um, kind of backwards doing this because I did it without a template. Um, but for some others, it's uh, probably easier to use the template. But I have these two inch pieces cut out already because my track is at the height of this two inch foam. So I'm using this for my bridge abutments. And uh, here's this one. So you're going to cut that out of the styrofoam, and that'll give you a piece like this. So moving on to that, um, I use the drywall saw. And I cut a little wide of my line. This piece has already been sanded some to straighten it out. So I did end up taking my template and fine tuning this one. So I remarked some new lines on here. So I'll go ahead and show you uh, just how I cut that with the drywall saw. Now fine tuning one like this end is a little harder than when you're cutting it out of a fresh piece, but see it's not that hard in this little bit I can go around and quick get with a piece of sandpaper. 
something else that works better or just as good as sandpaper would be just a file. So we've got the rasp end. I'm just going to go through and rasp off the high edge. And then I can flip it over. And flip it over on that edge. And then just fine tune. nicer looking piece on the front. So I'm just going to take the sandpaper now and with that for now and so the next step okay so the next step is going to be to mark lines so we can cut out for our bridge abutment and for this part I don't I don't really uh, measure it Sorry about that, I got a phone call while I was recording it. So what I'm doing is, I'm just drawing the lines out to cut out the back part so we just have the bridge abutment with the wings. And for this part I don't really, I just draw it by eye. Um, it's easier at this point because the inside really doesn't matter as much as the outer front does. So we got our lines marked there. And what I do for that is I take a uh, coping saw and I just follow my lines with this um, I think I want that one I actually want these a little thicker than what I marked so I'm going to go ahead and pause it mark it where I want it and uh, I'll come back to cut it okay I remarked my lines where I want them so I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you this cutting process So you can see now we're starting to get the shape of a bridge abutment with the wings. So we'll go ahead and clean up this inside here a little bit off camera and we'll come back with the uh, next step of this. Next step we're going to mark for the slope of the bridge abutment going back away from the front to give it that uh, look. 
So all I usually do is I just eyeball and draw a line and then uh, take the fresh utility knife and I'm just going to cut right along that line. So now you can see we've got a bit of a slope. And now I'll mark this side and uh, show you that. Okay, you can see I went ahead and marked uh, for our other wing part. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut that out. And now we got our uh, sloped wings for the abutment. So my next step is usually to take my file again, uh, this file. I like this one, I don't know why. But then I just kind of get on there just along and I just move that down. And you can see it makes it nice and clean. And then we'll come over and do the same to the other side. Okay. So that is the bridge abutment. I just want to take this and... So there. Uh, that's good enough with me. So the next step is we want to mark a line here and on top to cut out so the bridge can sit onto it. Okay, you can see I got the line marked here and a line marked here. So we're gonna cut a notch out of this piece of foam. So what I'll do, I'll take my utility knife and get it, if I can get it to lock, because this one needs to be oiled. So there, I have the right depth to meet up with that line. So we're gonna go ahead and just score the front and now we're going to set the depth same depth of work so we're going to cut the top part right along this line and then this piece should just oh just gotta cut this corner out and now it should just break out of there. And then I'll just take the file again. And give it a quick clean up. So now we got our part for the bridge to sit onto. This is way thicker than scale for end scale. So what I'm going to do next is mark two lines to notch out the back of this, two wings, so we can bring the scenery up to it. And what I mean by that is, here's one of the ones that already is cut and painted. So I went ahead and notched out the back and that's what we're going to do next. That way this looks uh, not as thick because this is a one inch piece of foam and then that's what the front looks like so I'm gonna go ahead and mark this on the piece we need to cut and we'll cut this out and I'll show you that process so you can see I went around here and marked a line to continue so this all looks pretty much the same size so we're just gonna keep the same depth we had on the utility knife and I'm gonna cut in there I'm going to cut down along this line and then I'm just going to come in here and cut down along and now that piece is out and we're just going to do the same thing for here and then we're going to flip this up just so I can go down the back here I'm just going to break that piece out and 
that gives us this area now to fill your scenery up to the bridge abutment. So that's why we do that there, or why I'm doing it. Um, and if you want to replicate this on your layout, you can do it as well. It's very, it's not really hard to cut these out, and this is pretty much a finished product. Now, um, I'm doing poured concrete for my bridge abutment, so this is pretty much the way it'll stay. The one thing I did do on the painted ones was I took this, and I just kind of slowly drug it across the front, like so. Just like that. Now you can see, it started to put a little bit of a, a texture on there. And once you paint that, where's the one I had painted? Hold on one second. So here's the one that I've already painted. You can see how it brings out that texture once you paint it, and it looks like it's concrete. And it's got, you know, a nice, nice look to it. Now if you want it to, you could carve stones into this with a knife and just paint it. And you could see that on Drew Steele's episode on his tunnel portals. So with that being said, I'm just going to show you my tunnel portal. Um, I'm going to leave a link in the description to Drew's channel, uh, Drew Steele. He did an excellent video on making foam tunnel portals. Um, he carved his into looking like stone. It's really, really, really nice. The tunnel I am modeling prototype has flat concrete like this. So same thing with the bridge abutment. I went through and textured it. And you can see... That kind of has that concrete look. Um, the only difference on my tunnel portal than Drew's was that I used one inch foam. So same thing as like the bridge abutment. I didn't want this one inch foam. So what I did was notch this out so I can bring my scenery down to this. Um, this tunnel is actually wrapped and poured into the rock cut. So I didn't have to worry about cutting my edges down. But you could do that if you had to. But the one thing is I'm finishing the inside of the tunnel. So what I had to do was go through and cut all the way around that. And the same thing like we did with the bridge abutments to notch it out so I can bring my scenery into this. Plus it doesn't have that one inch look. It has the lower profile and it looks more in scale. So that's my tunnel portal. And... We'll take a look. Okay, so here we are at the layout, and I put the bridge abutments I have painted in place and uh, the tunnel portal back in its hole there for the tunnel. And uh, I'm really happy with the way they turned out. As you can see, the bridge sits down onto the top part. Um, this little cutout in this one, I'm going to fill that in with some silicone caulking. This only has one coat of paint. Um, I'm going to do weathering on these, and I'll probably make another episode for that. Um, cause this is starting to get a little long, so I'm going to wrap it up here. Um, but you can see I'm happy with those. They don't take long to make. Um, and you can see how I notched that out. We got the room there to bring the scenery down into the uh, bridge abutment. And then we got the tunnel portal there. And you can see how it has that lower profile there the train rips by um, but I'm happy with the way both of these turned out and like I said I'm gonna leave a link in the description to Drew Steele's channel uh, for the video on his tunnel portals because uh, that's what gave me the confidence to make mine and I pretty much followed his video on that <clears throat> and then uh, the bridge abutments really ain't much different so they're really easy to make and if anyone's using foam on their layout like I am you end up with a lot of scrap so I have this whole box of scrap foam pieces so I saved everything to use for uh, forming mountains and you know making some custom things out of it so I'm happy with the way they turned out uh, they're still not done but uh, this will give you the idea on how to make them and that they can actually look pretty decent. Alright, thanks for watching.